Welcome to the tutorial for the pixelated distortion. Pixelated distortion is a random pattern generator uh, that is distorting the picture, sliding the picture in all different directions, so north, east, south, west, and then overlaying them on top of each other. Uh, within the masked areas, they create this kind of pixelated distortion, distorted look. Um, so there's some things that you can do here, like for instance, um, right at this moment I have squares, just the di just distortion, which is just the randomized squares. You have triangles, and then you also have circles as well. Each of these patterns can be uh, scaled up by using the shape scale. As this gets larger, you'll start to see the actual um, picture, the the um, the the jagged edges so there's only so far that that can go because the the scale uh, changes the resolution um, there's also this shrink repeat uh, shrink repeat is to change the repeat that you're actually physically seeing here um, so as so this is the like the base level and then as you shrink down this the repeat basically you'll start to see the repeat so um, but I thought that this is an interesting way of getting uh, more pixels or more uh, randomization and, and getting more smaller little bits which is one of the things that I like about this um, so I felt this was uh, an interesting way of uh, adjusting your image or, or creating um, you know um, visual interest to your static pictures and so that was the premise behind this that's how this started and then it just kind of evolved into this um, there's a displacement distortion, which you can basically increase um, to make it wild or, you know, just a little bit. Um, to give you an example, for instance, here's an example of uh, distortion beating to the uh, transport beat, which is the tap button, right? Um, so you can change your beats per minute and it will, um, you know, slow it down or speed it up. Um, but there's also the option for, for instance, uh, just triggering um, where you hit the beat trigger and it automatically goes whenever you hit the beat trigger. You also have metronome as well. Metronome is set to the hertz of the, the speed that you want, so you can make it as fast or as slow as you want. Um, you also have the option for attack time and release time, uh, which also changes how far out and how far, how quickly it comes back to, to normalcy, right? So if I change this to this, you're going to get this kind of result. Um, if I change the release time and I speed up the attack time, it's going to uh, get out to the beat and then come back to where it was before. Um, so that's, that's the premise behind that. Um, I'm going to put it on just triggered right at this moment just to kind of talk a little bit more about this. Um, you can take off the distortion, the, uh, the audio, uh, um, making it audio reactive um, by just unchecking this checkbox here. Um, but you'll also notice there's a displaced distortion, which is the one that allows you to really kind of crank it up um, or you can crank it down. Now, that being said, for instance, if you have audio distortion on, this is going to be where it base starts the distortion, and then it's going to, the attack time, it's going to take it out even further, right? So if this is all the way out, it's not going to go back to the original form. It's going to go to where the distortion, displacement distortion starts, right? So if it's at one, it's going to start there. If it's at zero, it's going to start there, just a heads up. Uh, the, so one of the things that I just want to quickly go over is the density. So I'm going to move up the displacement distortion so you can see it. Um, there is a density button here and there's the static speed of there are two patterns that are going on here. Um, so the grouped speed is the speed of the uh, fractal noise that I'm using. So that means that is the where the reason why I called it grouped speed is because fractal is a um, as a Perlin noise and Perlin has this like um, waves of gradiency, right? So all the white areas are grouped together, are clumped together. All the gray areas are clumped together, and all the black areas are clumped together. Where static is just that it's it's nothing but like a static TV field, right? So here's the, the randomness of the static TV field, and then there's the speed of the group field. You'll notice that it doesn't really affect it, and that's because we're on the opposite side of static, right? So there's more static or more grouped. If you're more grouped, you can see that there's these pockets of grouped areas. I also wanted to kind of talk about this density button. This this applies to the uh, grouped uh, um, pattern. So you'll notice that it's it's at the same kind of areas in which 
uh, they uh, affect the uh, grouped areas, right? So the density is is affecting the grouped areas of the fractal um, uh, noise. So the two combined is the the most visually interesting, and so that is the that's the reason for that is, is you have the option for either or. It's up to you. Um, if you want crazy static, great, just go to um, static. Um, if you want a little bit of both, you can put it in the middle, and of course, if you want grouped where it's grouped static, you can't do that as well. Also, this works with all the other things. So for instance, you could do the shape scale larger. Um, you could even larger than that, you could take down the shrink repeat and you'll have the option to really just shape it to your heart's content, whichever way you wanna make it set up, right? Um, so here's some examples of some of the other, um, uh, I also put in presets. So some of these are the within the presets, like this one is a, a square audio reactive, uh, this one is the triangle random. Um, I really like this one. This one gets a really nice feel over the top of these clouds. Um, the background, this is a uh, random uh, circles, right? Um, and then this one is hyper squares. This is just, you know, setting the metronome up to 28.65 hertz and it just pulses like in nobody's business like a jackrabbit right and you can increase that if you really wanted to at a certain point though you lose your um you lose your pulsing right because it's so much that the system can't make it fast enough <laughs> so that's that and then um there's this uh purple um the this one is a uh, triangle um random or triangle mess, that's what I called this one as a preset. And this one just randomly generates the triangles over the top, right? And it just cycles through the uh, pixelation. So that's a, that's a quick for a rundown of the tutorial. Um, thank you very much for your interest in pixelated distortion. If you have any questions, please give me uh, drop me an email. Uh, my email address is jacobmesick at gmail.com. That's J-A-C-O-B-M-E-S-I-C-K. Jacob Misick, just as it sounds. Uh, thank you very much for your interest. And like I said, have a great day. Um, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.